Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to draft a racer back back band for your sports bra using your original T back back band. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is trace your back band starting with the center back. That should be a solid line. Then you're going to trace the seam line using a dotted line. Then you're going to draw your cutting line. My seam allowance is one centimeter. And then you're going to trace the edge, mark your notch for the front, and then draw the sewing line and the cutting line for the swoop of your front. And then you're going to um, grab your ruler and draw a perpendicular line just extending the line that's the center back line all the way up the top of the paper and then another line at the shoulder strap i zoomed in so you could see better and i'm using a ballpoint pen because this is a guideline and now that i've drawn that line at the shoulder point i can get my marker pen I'm going up one inch from my shoulder strap and marking a dot and then I am going down one inch from the intersection of the two guidelines and that will be the neckline at the back I'm going to get a marker pen and define this soon so please be patient with me I'm sorry I have a 5 megapixel camera in the phone on the back and that's what I use to record things so I just grabbed my curved ruler so that I can draw a curved line for the neckline my shoulder strap width is one and a half inches so I'm marking one and a half inches from that first star and then I'm going up one centimeter to draw my one centimeter seam allowance that's my seam allowance preference and now I'm extending the line down to make sure that portion of the strap is straight. So I extended it down by one and a half inches to make sure my strap width where it connects to the front strap is the exact same one and a half inches. And now I'm getting my marker pen as promised and making the lines I just drew to be more clear. So when you're doing this for yourself, please use a Sharpie instead of a marker pen. A marker pen tip is very thick and a Sharpie's tip is much finer. You can use a ballpoint pen, you can use a dark pencil. I don't know if a number one or number two is darker. I am drawing the second guideline, which is just straight across my underarm seam. I'm marking two inches from the center back that way my scoop for the racer back won't be too deep or too wide and then I'm drawing a perpendicular line from that point to use as a guide so that the width of my racer back maintains uh, two inches at its narrowest I'm drawing half an inch below that so that I know how I have a guide point for dropping my armhole I'm drawing a diagonal line from that half inch mark but I decided to ignore it later I'm drawing a straight line and extending it so it touches my two inch line and at this point I decided uh, the scoop isn't deep enough so I decided to ignore that half that diagonal and now I'm just using the scoop of my French curve ruler and drawing a curved line, making sure it touches the two inch line, like I said, and then I'm going to freehand the rest of this. So I'm just going to continue the racer back arm and then I'm going to draw the rest of the scoop to touch my my side seam and that's essentially how to create a racer back band 
from your regular backband make sure you label the arrow that says place on fold uh, i didn't add seam allowances at the neckline or at the shoulders because i'm going to use fold over elastic at the neckline and the shoulder if you want to use regular elastic you can add seam allowance at the neckline and at the shoulder and the seam allowance will depend on the width of your elastic so maybe at one centimeter for one centimeter elastic make sure you sew a test sports bra to test out your new racer back pattern and adjust it accordingly and enjoy your new racer back sports bra make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series where i show you how to make our sports bra pattern at home and sew your own sports bras and have fun working out i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching